Hey everybody, yo, welcome back, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's feeling amazing. Yo, today, 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 we're reacting to the Vid Chronicle. Husband embarrasses his wife in front of friends. He instantly regrets it. So if you guys want please just like, button, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get to the video. I'm glad you guys could make it. I swear we never get days like this. Between work, the wife, the kids, we lucky we even have time to get the bus shot teeth. That is no <laughs> joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our group of friends right here. I really could use this more often. Can I use your restroom? Yes, it's a door on the right. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, Richard, <sighs> how are you and Sophia coping with a new baby? Oh, yeah, what's going on? I haven't seen a little fella. Mm -hmm. I mean, he eats, he poops, he cries. <laughs> like, you know, what else is there? The sad part is, I do all the work while Richard hides. Ooh. I do not hide. I don't what? hide. <laughs> the other day, the baby starts crying because he pooped himself. I find Richard in the closet hiding. Okay, oh. you got me. Hey. And it's scary. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Clean and up? How can something so little poop so much? Mm -hmm. It's called life. It's, I, it's beyond me. Okay. <laughs> what did I miss? Richard and Sophia was telling us about the baby. I bet he's just a cute little fella. Uh, I bet he is the cutest little monster. Oh, monster. Yeah. I love me some babies, especially when they're so young and well, cuddly. Really? I know. They just melt my heart. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I'm getting a cookie. Haven't you had enough already? I was yep, just... I knew he was going to be... I, you know who's going to be the, the, the dude that's going to be the irritating one. I thought it was going to be the black guy, but I'm not surprised it's him. He's always playing bad roles. Put it down. You're hey, baby, you good the way you are, man. Don't, well, woman, lady, lover. You look good, all right? Don't, don't listen to him. He's eating. Don't you know how to control yourself? Look at you, bro. I can understand if you was looking like steroid Sam over there, but look at you. You, you can lay off some food, too, man. Ah, I hate people like that, bro. But, babe, I'm hungry. Hungry? You eat 24-7. I mean, you'd be fine without eating for the next year or two. Bill, you should not be saying that to her. Who actually says this? I've got to say something. She won't stop eating. She's your wife. You can't talk to her like that. I've got to put a stop to it somehow. Okay, we're going to go. Um, Jeremy and I have this thing we have to attend to. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, your buddy swole for no reason. Now I ain't gonna say that because he might, he, he probably, he definitely could beat me up easy. I mean, I ain't gonna say that though. I mean, he probably, you know, he, gotta, Bill, he doesn't get to do that. I think you owe your wife an apology. What? Can you believe him? I swear, if you ever talk to me like that, it will be the end of us. Baby, you know I don't ever talk to you like that. Have you even talked to her about why she's eating? She pregnant. There's nothing to talk about. She just eats like a horse. Hey, like a horse? Bill, what are you doing? You're making her cry. Good. She needs to do something other than eat. Oh my god. Come on, Richard. Yeah, that's that's definitely how you play a house. Like, hey baby, did we do good? Yeah, cool. I didn't want them staying for too much long either. I'm sorry, baby. You don't eat that much. Okay. One day you're gonna realize what a great wife you have. Uh, shut up. Jessica? You ever need a place nah, for real though. Yeah, you need to get out of that situation, man. Man, how do you like come back after that? You really just called. I thought it was just a party tech to, to get them to leave. You embarrassed me in front of our friends today. Shut up. It's okay. I'll forgive you. You embarrass me in front of our friends. I don't like guys like this, dude. I hate dudes. So hey. I'm talking to you. Shut up. I love you. Watch. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say I love you. Whatever. Night.
Get up out of there, mom. You don't need that situation. Yeah, leave. Or, or, or put that pillow over his face. <clears throat> Come on, hurry up. You're going so slow. If you're trying to get up out of this situation, you got to leave faster. Dang, she was already planning on leaving him. That's crazy. Wait, what the? Alright, okay, so she's just gonna murder him? I mean, it's different ways you could call by the pet because if you get caught, you're doing 25 to life. It's not even worth it, Ma. You're gonna get with somebody like me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uplift you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm moving by myself, but we're a force when we're together. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice bet. First National Bank. Okay. Hello. Good morning, sir. This is Clark with First National Bank. Okay. How may I help you? Oh, yeah. I took some major losses last year. I lost millions, and I'm just trying millions. to get the company back on its feet. I totally understand. We can definitely help you. Just one little thing. After going over your file, we won't be able to give you the loan due to the amount of debt that you owe. But there is something that can save you. And what's that? Your wife. That's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Jessica? Oh, Jessica, go on, baby. <laughs> Jessica, out of there. Jessica, Jessica. had a third strike. Would you mind if I called you back in a few minutes? I, I think my wife might be downstairs. No problem. Take your time. I wrote this letter three days ago. I knew it wouldn't be outdated because your insults never stop. Wow. The fact that you're reading this means I'm already gone. Don't try calling me. My number's already changed. Don't try finding me. I no longer live in the same state. As far as our marriage, my lawyer will mail you the divorce papers. The love that I had for you was stronger than the waves of the ocean. But the way you treated me was not like a wife. You physically hurt me. You destroyed my pride. You destroyed my self-esteem. I cried days on top of days, wishing you would change. Wishing you would have loved me for who I am. But all you did was complain, accuse me, and belittle me. I know I gained a few pounds since we got married. And even though you never stopped to ask why, I will tell you. Between cooking your dinner, cleaning the house, washing your clothes, and running your errands, I have no time for myself much less the gym. I put you before me all the time. I let you talk to me however you wanted to talk to me. I let you hit me. I let you bully me. You, hold on, wait, time out. Time out. Uh, don't be letting nobody hit on you. I don't care who you are, man, woman, none of that. Don't be letting nobody hit on you. That's, it's not, hey, you could that, you should have left before that. You should have left after he tried to hit you. That's crazy. As I, 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 as a man, I, I don't think, as a like as a as a like I say as a man or you know, I just I don't know. I don't I don't feel like I need to physically insert my dominance or whatever. Like I ain't gonna like I don't know. Man. I just don't. I, the best violence. I think that is 
I think as a man, that's the most coward thing you could do. Like, if you feel like you have to get to that point, man, I think it's it should have been time to walk away. I feel like, you know, that's something that as a... I don't know. I just... That's, that's not me. I, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that at all. This is where it needs to stop. Yeah. You always told me you don't need me. Wow. I really hope now that I'm gone, you'll be a better man than you've ever been. This is my departing message to you. Goodbye, Bill. I wish you the best in life. Man, I ain't gonna lie. With a story like that, bro, I'm, I'm fine to get help back. It, it's over with, though. It's definitely over with. You deserve that, too, honestly. And you ain't getting no loan, stupid. And your business about to be foreclosed. Your life is bad right now, stupid. Don't call. That's why I'm keeping real. Tell you how I feel. The moral of the story is a man has no place disrespecting or belittling a woman. Yeah. No matter how much you love someone, if the relationship becomes physically or mentally abusive, it's time to leave. Yeah. Your life belongs to you, and however you choose to live it is your decision. Big no facts. Way. Be bullied by anyone. Big facts, yo. Big, big brr. <laughs> yeah, man. Man or woman, yo. Cause hey, I don't, I don't. As a, as a guy, I don't believe in. I don't even like negative people around me. Yo, be honest with you. So if a girl talk crazy, I, that's me to out of this situation. You know. And I, honestly, good thing I don't have any ties to anybody. So hey, you try to talk crazy, I'm, I'm dipping out. I ain't got no. Hey, you know. But hey. Um, I think that's everybody, you know, put your learning self-worth, don't let nobody talk to you crazy, if you put on pounds, it's all right, you know what I'm saying, it's not the end of the world, it's not like you can't go out there and lose the weight, you know, I mean, it's, I don't know. But, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please don't forget to check the links in the description box as well. I love you guys so much, man. Adios, amigos. Peace.